can record. Ah, um, and not have to worry about uh, the phone flying off into the floor yet. I don't know. I just got this, so it might still do that. But now it's, a th you know, completely hands-free, and I don't even have to look at you. I just got back from Walmart. I had to go get some ink and some printer labels. I'm getting ready for my big Etsy shop update next week. And um, I do have to go get some more mailers. But I get those at Sam's Club because I can get a big old box of them. Or a big old bag of them. For way cheaper than at Walmart. Ugh. And yeah. So I went to the post office this morning. I got a card which I'll show you guys later. And I got... What else did I get? Oh, I went to Serenity. I got some... Oh, it's our thrift store. <laughs> I got some um, curtains. <laughs> but I also got a little... Um, half a yard of it looks like watermelon it's like the inside of a watermelon with seeds on it um it was 79 cents so i grabbed it because i thought i could use it for a bag liner or outer uh you know next year or whenever summertime <laughs> but i'm driving home right now and i just wanted to try out this um phone holder thing <laughs> well, what was i call it mount whatever so i'm driving through my town right now heading home and i will talk to you guys when i get there Here's the current curtains I have. They're pretty and I like them and I'll probably wash them and put them in the closet but I just I want something that's a lighter color in here. So I got some today and I'll show you the after. Okay so I know they don't look fancy the way they're supposed to and they're a smidge long but I can worry about that later. But what I wanted was them to be lighter and they are lighter. <laughs> it's lighter in this room already and I know there should be two panels per door but what I usually do is during the, in the morning I come here and open them, you know, one to one side, one to the other. Same thing I did with the blue ones. And at night I just pull them closed, so I ain't fancy. <laughs> so I don't need them to be perfect looking. I just wanted more light to come in when they're closed. And yeah, so the goal accomplished, I guess. I wore my fingerless mitts for the first time today outside the house. And I did love them. <laughs> but I do definitely need to go back and add some height to the fingers which I have yarn in my scrap box I will dig it out and add some to each of them I also wore my headband it wasn't quite cold enough for a cow but it was when I left the house earlier it was like 47 or something like that so it was just a little nippy so I covered my ears up and my hands are always cold when I'm outside but I did get some mail today and it is from Rebecca in Indiana she had a really nice penmanship but she sent me a Halloween card I'm so excited about it it's so cute look at the spider and the mouth says happy Halloween. But she just wrote a cute note in there and she has really nice penmanship. <laughs> it's like per like really clear. I could easily read it. But yeah, so I was super excited to get a Halloween card. I can't wait to show Jesse when he comes. I'll probably hang it up somewhere in here. Even though Halloween's next week. But I probably won't take down my decorations on Halloween. So I'll probably give it a few a little while and take it down slowly, like I do at Christmas. And then Christmas will start creeping out. <laughs> I always decorate the inside of the house really early for Christmas. And I wait for the front yard area until it's a little bit more acceptable <laughs> to put out Christmas stuff. But I ain't even going to lie, um, Christmas will be here a lot sooner than uh, at most people's houses. Because decorating for Christmas makes me happy. So I do it. And Jesse loves it. And Devin loves it. So it's all good. <laughs> I do have to get a tote, though. i got to get a big tote. I looked at the thrift store there because sometimes they sell them for two dollars with with a lid a dollar without a lid but they didn't have any with lids and i need a big tote with a lid to put all my halloween stuff in because the tote that's down there isn't going to fit it anymore because i accumulated a lot of stuff this year <laughs> but um so i gotta work on that i'm gonna try to find one without having to buy it brand new because they're like twenty dollars brand new but yeah so i just got home i gotta wake Devin up in about an hour he's sleeping in today he has he worked over last night Today's Thursday, by the way. Tomorrow is Friday. Uh, we might go back to the hospital tomorrow to visit um, Devin's dad if he's not coming home. Tomorrow afternoon, evening, uh, the girl that I babysit will be coming. She's going to stay with me Friday night and Saturday night because there's Halloween plans this weekend that I'm going to take her and Jesse to if it doesn't rain. Right now there's rain in the forecast. And um, tomorrow, or not tomorrow, Saturday, i got to make a birthday cake for my mother-in-law so she can help me with that. She'll like that. My mother-in-law is her aunt. Um, that's how, that's why I was, I'm not sure what to call her to me because she's, I see her as like my niece and I told her, I, oh, I've always been telling her that. Uh, she came into my life when she was five and uh, I've babysat her on and off since then and she's almost 12 now. So um, I've just always referred to her as my niece and 
I told her, I was like, you can call me your aunt if you want. I don't care. <laughs> Sometimes we call each other cousins. It's just, it's kind of complicated. But it's whatever. But yeah, so I'm going to hop off here. And I've got to finish the notion pouches. You can't see them. Jason's blankets in the way. But I've got, I finished uh, 23 last night. These ones are 100% finished. These ones got to be closed with darker thread. And then I got 27 more to close. And then I will start on the drawstring casings. Woo! Alright guys, I am in Jesse's bedroom. I just cleaned it. I don't know how well you can tell if it's clean. It's, uh, you know, it's a kid's room so it's really dirty. <laughs> but I um, went through all his toys. And right there I have a big box and two little boxes that I'm going to be donating tonight when Devin gets off work. This big box. Let me go over here. Oh, I just realized I almost knocked a picture off the wall. This big box is just a bunch of toys. This one, this little one has got books in it, and the one, the little box down there has blocks. I like half his stash of blocks. Maybe that's so I don't knock it down. <laughs> so now under his bed, this drawer has blocks in it, and the other two have books in it. So, woo! And look at the floor; it's clean for like one day <laughs> until he comes home, and then it'll be horrible again. I want to get him some new curtains. These are just really tall brown ones. I want to get him some cute kid ones. Um, he's got Paw Patrol bed. So I'm not trying to find some Paw Patrol or something. Curtains for his bedroom. I think it'd be cute. Hey guys. I wanted to hop on here and update a little bit. Oops, I'm sorry for that lovely picture of my chest. <laughs> but um, Devin just came home early. Uh, because he had really high blood pressure and uh, they sent him home from work <laughs> but uh, don't worry he's got doctor appointments and stuff we are we are doing our thing I wanted to show you guys <laughs> a tote today while I was cleaning Jesse's bedroom this was a tote that he had blocks in plastic blocks and I split it up into half kept half in the drawer under his bed and the other half I'm donating because he never plays with a ton of them at once he usually gets like a handful out and plays with them but I also went through the yarn that was gifted to me recently and my own stash shelves everywhere and I found a whole lot of yarn that is going to be in Happy Mail. <laughs> I uh, I was going to have like a huge giveaway for my 5,000 uh, subscriber accomplishment but um, if I do that it won't be until after the new year just because of mail <laughs> costs, shipping costs is pretty high. So um, and I've already been, you know, I got the Knit Crate giveaway, giveaway going on and uh, I just did some happy mail for some people and had another giveaway recently. Oh yeah, the, the Halloween thing. But I wanted to show you this tote. Let me pull it out. Ugh. It's not a full size tote, but it's one of the, ooh, the, the half size ones. And it is full of yarn. That was it's some that was recently given to me and some that I've had for a while that I've just not been using. And there's actually probably some more that I could pull out. But what I want to do is, um, because I need to make room for the yarns that I use a lot like uh in these big boxes that were gifted to me the other day in that huge haul there was a lot of red heart and I keep all the red heart of course because I make amigurumis all the time and decorations for my house and stuff and so I need somewhere to put all that yarn <laughs> it's actually in this box under this lid to this tote <laughs> so what my plan is is to give away a whole lot of yarn <laughs> that I either have had forever and didn't use or things that I think other people could make use of better than me because like this is a really pretty yarn but I think someone could make something really pretty with that. That isn't something that I would make. Like, you know, I love emigrammies and stuff like that. So, this is more like a uh, sweater, maybe. Or big shawls or something. And, um, there's a lot of size 3 yarn in here that I bought on clearance. But I'm not really going to use. Because uh, my favorite yarn is worsted. So, I have it all just tucked under my table. And what I plan on doing is just randomly grabbing some out for certain people and sending it to them. And, um, because, you know, a lot of times, that's like the one I did the other day, uh, I was having a correspondence <laughs> with, uh, a viewer, and I won't say their name because they don't want me to, but she, um, is bedridden, and she's not able to get out and shop and stuff, so I, I just wanted to send her a gift, so I sent her some yarn, and I hope she appreciates it, appreciate, 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 why can't I say that word? Appreciates it. <laughs> and she should have gotten it today. I mailed it Monday, today, so Wednesday, today or tomorrow. So I hope she gets it and loves it. And um, I want to do the same thing with this. I want to gift back to people because a lot of people give me stuff. And I just want to keep the ball rolling, you know. 
So I got it under there, and this box over here is those red hearts I was talking about, and some more of that um, colorscape, because I want to make some more of those cows, <laughs> even though I don't need more. I just love that pattern so much, and that yarn's perfect for it, and I thought I would make some of those and maybe gift them to people. <laughs> I don't know. But what, uh, what I want to do is, like, even these cakes up here, I want to try to make some lapgans soon and donate them, and then I'll have that shelf up there to put more red heart on. And uh, I have, y'all don't know it. Maybe you do. But I have three of these. Two of these. In my bedroom. Full of red heart yarn. Because that's where I go and pull it out for all my amigurumis and stuff like that. But yeah. So, uh, like I said, Devin's home now. I'm still sewing. <laughs> I got some more sewing I gotta do when we come home. But we're about to leave to go to the store and get a few things. And to drive around and play Pokemon Go for a little while. And there's a house with really cool lights in their yard. That if I can remember, I'm going to try to record it for you guys. I drive by it all the time on purpose for me and Jesse to see the lights. And um, so I thought it would be fun. I've probably showed it before in a vlog <laughs> in the past. But I wanted to show it again because it's fun. Hey guys. I'm going to edit my video here in a few minutes. I'm laying on the couch playing a video game. Devin's in the bedroom playing guitar. I don't know if you can hear it. Can you hear it? <laughs> He's in there just relaxing. He doesn't feel too good. But I'm sitting here. I just got done with all the notion pouches. All 50 of them. I broke. I broke two needles on the zippers. Those are the last notion pouches like that I'm making. I told Devin I'm not making any more like that. I'm getting a new pattern because I'm getting so sick of breaking needles on those stupid zippers. <laughs> I'm going to sit here and play the game. And I'll see you guys later.